The main protagonist is Hida Kizuna, situated in a supernatural world. Hida possesses the Heart Hybrid Gear ability, but it's not quite potent to make him noticeable among his peers. To get out of this predicament, his older sister suggests that he transfer to a strategic defense school to improve his abilities. So far, so good. Where does the edgy part fit in all of this, you may ask? Well, edgy authors seem to have the talent to include edgy in situations where you'd least expect them to. Considering many of the students in that academy are large-breasted girls, you get the idea of where you'll get most of the material from. Furthermore, Hida's power doesn't measure up to other students. Therefore, his sister gets another idea. By having erotic experiences with Hida, the other students get their energy replenished somehow. What do you know? Hida isn't useless after all. Haruka Shinozaki has the hots for the class representative, Akiho Kusaka, for quite some while now. Having supermodel looks and doing well in sports, she fulfills the criteria of what you'd want in a dream girl. As time passes, Haruka decides to confess his feelings to Akiho, and to his surprise, she agrees to be his partner. However, her quirkiness unravels as Haruka spends more time with her. An inexperienced girl, she had quite strangely never been in a relationship, though this isn't a hurdle by any means. Being an edgy genre, you can guess how they'd spend most of their time together. Happiest of childhoods, Akiharu lost his parents at a young age. After that, his uncle's family decided to care for and raise him. Later on, feeling as though he was a burden to his relative, Akiharu decides to enter a boarding school, Hakureiro Academy, to alleviate this unpleasant feeling. Akiharu then proceeds to take the exam and passes. After succeeding in passing his exam, he decides to become a butler after managing to secure a place in the house management department. However, due to his somewhat unusual appearance, he can't seem to get along with his classmates, the majority of which are girls. Talk about brutality. And if that wasn't enough torture to begin with, Akiharu meets his childhood friend Tomomi Sakio, a girl or a snake for a better description, who traumatized him countless times as children. Fortunately for our main protagonist, his relationship with girls starts getting better and so does his relationship where a series of serial murders have taken place with the victims being predominantly young women. By then, the culprit is still unknown. The plot then focuses on two adopted sisters, Mafuyu Oribe and Tomo Yamanobe, that come across a wounded young man, Sasha, and decide to bring him back to their place for him to recover. That night, Mafuyu finally witnesses the infamous serial killer in front of her. Luckily, Sasha comes to the rescue just in time, saving Mafuyu. Sasha then reveals that he is a quasar, a person capable of controlling periodic elements by partaking in Soma, a substance found within the breasts of women. He then joins the academy, and from here begins his peculiar yet interesting school year. As you can tell, the plot mainly revolves around Soma, as all the interesting scenes are based around that. With decent animation, but no engaging plot whatsoever, if you're just looking for some fun time, then this is an option. For this reason, a strict morality law is imposed so that certain immoral deeds could be minimized. This law is so strictly imposed that citizens have to wear devices on their necks so that they can be monitored. In this world of sexual suppression, Tanukichi Okuma, son of an infamous terrorist who opposed the chastity laws, comes across Ayame Kaju, a masked criminal dedicated to spreading lewd material among the sheltered public. Soon, Tanukichi gets involved with Ayame to help her goal of opposing this law. Quite a dedicated movement for an interesting is shared between step siblings. And if that wasn't enough, one is a hero and the others apparently demons. Yes, even supposedly being sworn enemy isn't quite enough to stop some people from partaking in sinful deeds. So how can someone end up in a bizarre situation such as this? Well, the two supposed stepsisters, Mio and Maria, try to deceive our main protagonist. Basara Tujo. Instead, they only managed to deceive themselves by thinking they could trick our OP main protagonist. Basara first tried to shun them, but later started caring for them. You'll understand if you watch the show for yourself. To make sure one of his stepsisters, Mio, can always be located so that Basara can offer protection, a master servant pact is made. The deed that Basara and Mio get involved in is because of a consequence of this spell. An interesting plot with many more interesting scenes. Be sure to give it a try.